Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I wanted to come out today and see if the wait times actually dropped since now Epcot and Magic Kingdom have fireworks. I want to see if people are leaving here and going there. And also, I want to try the new food items at Docking Bay 7. Anywho's, let's go do this. And take a look at this. Donald and Daisy are greeting guests as they walk in the park from up there. That is really fancy. Looks like they're having a, a conversation of some sort. I think Donald's saying you should call me because he just made like that phone gesture to his ear. Oh, those are nice plants. Yes. What are they trying to say? This is really interesting. I'm really liking this. Hi, friends. <laughs> That is a great spot for them to be greeting guests. I bet you they switch out characters too. Like I bet Mickey and Minnie go up there and like they swap out from time to time. I can definitely see a lot of people leaving Hollywood Studios so they can catch the fireworks. And if they do that, that means all of the wait times should drop. Especially right now because the fireworks are like a hot topic. They just started again and everybody wants to see them. And as I mentioned before, Docking Bay 7 has a bunch of new menu items, including a fancy dessert. In fact, there was a lot of different new food items here at Hollywood Studios. The sad part is that a lot of it closes early, like 3 or 4 o'clock, so we're not going to be able to try them. But Docking Bay 7, I think, is open till park close. Right now, it's about 5 o'clock, and you can take a look at some of the wait times here. Smuggler's Run is 60 minutes, Rock and Roller Coaster 55, Tower of Terror 45, Mickey and Minnie's is 50 minutes. I bet you that these wait times are going to go down, though. Slinky Dog Dash, 80 minutes? Wowza! The summer crowds are definitely back, and like I said, there's a lot of people here today. 80 minutes for Slinky Dog Dash. My heart kind of sunk a little bit because I really wanted to ride that today. But, like, we're testing this theory out, so give it about an hour or two and we'll see how big they drop. Look at this. How awesome. I love seeing Genie out. I haven't seen him out forever, and you don't see any rare characters out recently. So this is a really good surprise. Seeing characters out and about in the parks now is so amazing. We saw Donald and Daisy up on the balcony when we walked in, and Genie right here. Things are really looking up. Oh, look at him. He is a hoot. Never had a friend like me. Ho! <laughs> Now I got my eyes peeled for any other characters. Like I'm walking around like, okay, let's see who else we're gonna see. I mean, that was really odd. Like it's not like the genie is always hanging out at Hollywood Studios. Since we plan on visiting Docking Bay 7 to get some new food items, I think we're gonna do a tour on Star Tour since it's a 10 minute wait. All of the other attractions have super long waits. So hopefully our uh, idea is gonna work out and uh, they're gonna drop down a little bit later on. Still one of the best queues I've ever been through and it's definitely holding up even through the time because this is an older attraction and it's just so immersive in here. I mean obviously the ride isn't as good as Rise of the Resistance but I just love walking through here. I would love to go up there. I actually I remember seeing Ewoks here. I did a meet and greet with Ewoks. I think there was a Moonlight Magic one night. It was so fun. Definitely seems like it's longer than 10 minutes, but we're here now anyway, so we might as well just stay and wait. he was willing to bend the rules for me. That's pretty fancy. I just want you to know that the wait time from this point is currently 75 minutes. I'm just kidding. Um, you should have seen your face. Thank you. Grab your glasses. Grab your flight glasses. Thank you. One. Row five. Row five. It's a good possibility I might be the rebel spy today. I mean, it's all up at chance. I think they actually choose it before you actually get in. So, fingers crossed, maybe I might be. 
Oh no, it looks like our plan backfired on us. Due to forecasted weather conditions, tonight's performance of Epcot Forever has been canceled. So we just got the notification that Epcot Forever is canceled and Happily Ever After might be modified. So I'm not too sure if people could be leaving the park now. Uh-oh. Well, we'll see how the day goes anyway because we're going to make the best of it. We're in Disney World. Oh boy. Excuse me, you don't seem to understand. I have not the captain. I am C3PO. 4201, clear for takeoff. Contact departure on frequency 429. Wait! Turn us around this instant before we get into trouble. Boy, boy. I hear it. Oh, don't shoot. Oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> you. Maybe you're only there. Oh, no. That was a fantastic ride. We ended up getting Vader and Yoda. I feel like that's awesome because I never get Yoda. I never get Yoda. So Yoda came out and I wasn't the rebel spy. Oh, uh, maybe next time. I was also super nervous that when we were going to come out, it would be raining, but it looks like it's just a little bit of a drizzle. I mean, they did cancel Epcot forever, so something big is coming. Tropical Storm Elsa is on her way. We're gonna make our way right down into Docking Bay 7 now and try the food. I wish we can get through a day without it raining. It's been probably a rainy vlog for the past uh, two, three weeks. I don't think I've had a dry day once. So, I mean, that's just July, I guess. And here we are, Docking Bay 7. I can't wait to try some of the food in here. I know that there are some new items and then some items that basically got revamped. Everything is still mobile ordering, so I placed my order and now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you guys the menu because they have a big like menu so I can show you all the items at like once. Here is a look at the menu, and from what I can tell, the Batuian beef is new. And it's kind of like the old pot roast because it's kind of the same meat, but it's cooked different and it has different vegetables in it. It's $19, which makes it the new most expensive uh, item. And then also the tuna poke is new. Ooh, and they also got a hot chicken tip yip. So if you had the tip yip before, this one just has a sweet like chipotle glaze. But what I'm really excited about is the Outpost Puff. Look at that fanciness, that's the new dessert. I ended up getting the Batuian beef with stir fry and you can choose between uh, yuca potatoes or you can get mac and cheese or rice and the veggies. I ended up getting the yuca and also I got an Outpost Puff. Now this looks really awesome because it comes with the green milk sauce and I think that sounds amazing. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay, the spires keep you. Oh, that looks good. Holy it moly. Is. <laughs> Thank too, you. Much too good to eat. Yeah, much too good. <laughs> I decided to come outside and eat it because it's so beautiful out and it's not raining anymore and the food is so bright. I wanted to get you guys a good look at it. First things first is the Batuian beef and we got smoked braised beef glazed with tournament sauce and then the stir fried veggies, crispy yuca, pickled onions and cilantro. And you can just see it all in there. I see the braised beef right there, but then over here, now this is the main event right here. This is the Outpost Puff. It's a chocolate pastry filled with chocolate mousse, green milk sauce, and then a spiced pineapple and confectionery debris. Look at that. So beautiful. I think I'm gonna dive into the braised beef first. First, I wanna try a crispy yuca here. So we're gonna grab a little bit of that. And, oh yeah, this is good. The yucas are so, so good. If you guys have had the pot roast before, let me know how different this is compared to what it used to be. I don't think I've ever had the pot roast before. They said that the meat is cooked different and there's something different with the veggies, but I'm just excited to dive in. So I'm gonna cut in. Oh, that's soft. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be, oh wow, this is gonna be amazing. I think I'm just gonna grab a whole, a whole forkful. It's a pretty big bite, but I think I can make it. Oh yeah. That is so, so good. Holy moly. I like how we get the veggies in here. We got the zucchini right there. 
whatever that sauce is, it's kind of a little spicy, but it's amazing. What a fantastic meal. Honestly, this might be one of my new favorite things at Hollywood Studios. I really, really love this beef. The only downside is it is a $20 quick service meal. Like $20, it's not that big of a portion, but wow, it's so, so good. I, would, I did not expect it to be this good, honestly. Like, that's why I'm kind of like a little bit of like a shock because this is so amazing. It's all about that sauce. You can also really, really taste the cilantro basically in every single bite. I see it coated, not just on the potatoes. You can see actually there's a big cilantro right there, but you can see it on the potato, on the yuca, and then everywhere else. So this is really good. I keep on saying yuca potatoes because in my head, I want to say Yukon, Yukon potatoes, but it's not, and it's just really hard for me to process that. I don't know why I keep tripping up on it when I know what I'm supposed to be saying, but yeah, I like this. It's very, very good. Now it is time for the Outpost Puff, the main event. I'm guessing this is the spiced pineapple here, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. Oh, it's soft. I might need to use this fork here, just so I can use it as a wedge. So a little bit like this. Oh yeah, there we go, that's how we do this. Okay, now we're gonna set this here and I'm gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and then of course, that. Everything has to be on the first bite. There are so many flavors happening in this. I don't even know how to process it all. Like, <laughs> the green milk sauce is so amazing. It tastes just like green milk. And then, whatever this is on the bottom is, I'm, I'm just really loving this. Wow. Definitely the pineapple, too. Everything all at once is so phenomenal. Look at me. Ba -ba 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 -da. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not too sure though, like is this the green milk sauce right here, this like little tiny foamy thing? Or is this the green milk sauce? Because they're both green, but they definitely look different. Either way, it is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. It is definitely a big variety of different flavors all hitting you at once. I would definitely like to come back and try the spicy tip yet. I like the original tip yet that I had before, but now they got like a sweet chili sauce on it. That's probably gonna be really good. And I would get this outpost puff again. I wish it was a little pistachio flavor. You know what I mean? The green milk sauce kind of gave me that pistachio vibe, but it's actually like green milk. So it just tastes like green milk, but it looks like pistachio. Now that we're all filled up and ready to go, I think we'll start making our way out to some attractions. Maybe actually head on over to the Tower of Terror or Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm still a little shocked that they canceled Epcot Forever for the night. And it was nice that they actually sent out a warning. Now Epcot Forever is the latest fireworks show. So like they might be able to get away with doing Happily Ever After, but maybe 10 o'clock is when the storm's gonna roll in. So they're just trying to be safe. I'm gonna cut up this way alongside the ABC commissary, and we're gonna check on the wait time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I think when we got here, which was about an hour ago, it was at a 50 minute wait. The most thing that stood out to me was Slinky Dog Dash at 80 minutes. So we'll see if it actually dropped down within the hour. Looks like it's a posted 30 minute wait time, so we'll see how long it takes to get through the queue, but it's not too shabby, and most of it's actually in the queue part, like underneath the, the umbrellas. Well, not too shabby. We're about to actually go into the pre-show, which I'm super happy is back, and we're only been around 25 minutes, so I'll take that any day. I love this little hidden Mickey right here of the dragons. I think that's one of my favorite ones. Nothing can stop us now. I'll tell you how. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> oh, hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? Good news is it looks like the plexiglass is gone. Last time I rode it, the plexiglass was still there, and I think that was like last week. Hey friends, and I think they're, I think the plexiglass is gone. Still in the queue though. It's funny because I'm like plexiglass, and here it is. Also looks like they brought back the blueberry smell. Here we go, all aboard. always puts me in such great moods. I think it's the music. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. When we got off, I thought for sure we were gonna come out to rain and it's still a little dry out. I don't know if I should like end the video now so we can have a successful non-rainy vlog, but there's so much more to do. I wanna go down sunset. Okay, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna go down sunset, see about the Tower of Terror and hopefully it's not gonna start downpouring on us. I can tell you this, I love being at Hollywood Studios at like this time of the day. Like right before park close, it is so amazing seeing the lights turn on. <laughs> seeing all those pretty lights turn on and then hearing that music. I love this area. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day oh wow speaking of the tower of terror 25 minute wait wow i think our plan actually worked out and it's not even a full plan because epcot forever is closed unless some people park hopped anyway but 25 minutes in the middle of july is phenomenal i've been keeping an eye and most of these attractions have been 45 50 minutes all day long this is seriously so amazing. I didn't think I was gonna be able to ride today, but here we are, and I'm pumped. It also looks like our pre-shows are back here at the Tower of Terror.
I love looking at all of the things up here, including this gigantic horse head right there. That is so awesome. There are so many cool antiques. I would love to have any of these. To our valued guests, for your safety once on board, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the elevator at all times. And do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Estimados huéspedes, por su seguridad. Gracias. We're not going to lose the hat this time. I'm going to hang on tight. And plus we're not sitting in the front row in the back, so it's probably not going to fall out. Hopefully not. Hands above your heads. Hands up. And I hope you say goodbye to your friends in line. You will never see them again. No! Oh! 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 Well, should you folks see anything since you've all been here before? No, we have. I'll see you at the top since I'll be taking the stairs. Special jackpot. Oh, my life bad jackpot. It's always a fun ride when you don't end up sacrificing something to the Twilight Zone. Pat's still here. My cell phone, my wallet's good. I got my magic band. I think we made it. See ya. And take a look at this. Brand new ears. You know, if I wore ears, I would wear these. It's got a key to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. That's phenomenal. I thought for sure when we came off this ride it'd be raining, but nothing yet. Wow, it's gonna be a rainless vlog today. I feel so happy about that. And even when we got off, it's still only a 25 minute wait. Wow, that is so amazing. In fact, I might come over here and check to see what all the wait times are. And look at this, just about everything dropped down in wait times. Rock and Roller Coaster, 30 minutes. Tower of Terror, 25 minutes. Mickey and Minnie's, 35 minutes. I bet your Slinky Dog is still high though. 50 minutes for Slinky Dog Dash. Toy Story Mania, 35 minutes. So just about everything 30 minutes wise. I'm feeling pretty good though. I mean, we got a lot done today. Star Tours, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Tower of Terror, and we've all done it in like two hours. Like I haven't been here this long. Like honestly, I think we got here maybe four or five o'clock-ish, and it's uh, seven now, so five, six, seven, six, maybe three hours, two, three hours. Not too shabby, and plus we sat down and had dinner. I think I'm gonna run into Once Upon a Time though. I'd like to see if they have any new clothing items or any other fancy things. Actually, I would love to get the new Haunted Mansion fedora. I don't know if they sell it here, but they probably wouldn't sell it in here. Maybe out front, so I think we're gonna go out front. I did see a lot of people sent that to me, and that's so awesome. I'm definitely gonna get it, but I don't know if they sell them in other parks other than the Magic Kingdom. I think a majority of the hats are actually over here, and we'll see. If not, it's probably just that Memento More. Looks like a big old negative. No hats for me today. I'll probably get one once they get over to the Magic Kingdom. It's probably only at Memento Mori. I'm not too sure. But I do like my hats that I wear. I get these in random spots, but I would prefer a Disney one. You know. And plus, the Haunted Mansion one I have from last year, I usually wear that all during the haunt season. So that's what I'll do with this one. If I end up getting it, it's going to be my Halloween hat. But I want to make sure they don't sell out because they do do that sometimes. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It was so much fun today. No it's like a blessing. So we'll see you next time. Bye.